so as you know I'm a fan of SK tools because they're local to me and they have a real commitment to making 100% American made stuff and so a lot of the yes a lot of the non German tools I have I primarily buy SK there are some times when I have to buy other things because SK doesn't have a product but I in general I like their tools um, I like their sockets they obviously have great looking chrome and I love this ratchet this is a the, the classic ball end ratchet and it's existed as a design dating back to probably nearly a hundred years ago and it's just such a timeless design that continues to work. And for my primary, for my half inch drive stuff that I'm using when I'm out at a client's place, um, I typically, I don't like these comfort grip handles that so many ratchets have these days because they're difficult to clean and I'm constantly being covered with hydraulic oil. And I was on the website for SK recently and I noticed something pretty cool, which is that they, basically will let you upgrade the traditional 50 tooth mechanism which is in these ratchets with the two the single pawl to a new 100 tooth double pawl ratchet mechanism and you know for probably a third the cost of a new ratchet and how often is it that you have a consumer tool like this that is actually upgradable instead of just being a throwaway and I love the idea that you can improve something take something this is probably 10 years old it's had lots of use and improve it so I took out the old one with my wife's help and just remove a snap ring here here I've got the new snap ring and the kit comes with some some grease this looks like sort of a, a lithium type grease. It says in the instructions here to lubricate the teeth on the inside of the ratchet handle and coat the inside of the inner body core behind the paws. So we'll take this grease and we'll really liberally coat the teeth all the way around okay get them all in there I mean a hundred teeth is pretty darn good because a lot of the half inch drive products you see on the market are kind of in that 70 tooth area there are some extremely high-end products that you'll see out there now uh, all the way up to 120 teeth I think Stalvilla makes one um, snap-on might have one also but a hundred teeth is pretty darn good compared to some of the sort of mid-range products that you'll see around. And, um, yeah, I'd, I'd love it to be more. I'd love to get up to 120 teeth, but, but to take this classic design and get it up to, get it up to a hundred teeth, I think is just awesome. So I'm just gonna use every bit of this grease here I I will only buy American made and German made and tools well I'm currently waiting on some stuff from PB Swiss some 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 nut drivers which uh, boy you gotta wait a long time to get the PB Swiss but you know I'm I don't buy any uh, Asian made tools although uh, that being said I am interested in the Nepris uh, Nepros products from uh, Japan. Okay, so I'm aligning this in the neutral position between left and right so that it has the clearance to go back in. All right. And then I'm gonna take the snap ring here. This is the new snap ring, yes. snap ring right there and get this to just drop back in there that 
let's see, is that already seated? Let's make sure it's fully seated in there. You know, a lot of the, the, the really professional grade ratchets that you see around these days all have the kind of teardrop head. And, um, I, and, and, you know, the screws, the screws holding on the mechanism in as opposed to the snap ring. And I love this round head. This looks like something that you would have seen during World War II. This is just, it's just a testament to the fact that some things don't need to change. Sometimes a good design remains a good design for a very, very long time and that there isn't really a, a massive need to improve on it. Look at how black the grease was that came out of there, really. Whether that's, that's probably just this uh, black oxide coating on the mechanism kind of wearing off over time, but let's get it nice and clean here. Kind of observe the difference. And um, let's kind of see, all right. Wow, what a difference. I don't know if you can hear it, but this, this was a pretty chunky ratchet before, and this just has a very, very nice fine tooth action now. Completely different going to that hundred teeth. Wow. Just try and get it click by click here. Wow. So, boy, if you've got one of these old round head SK ratchets, I think for... 35 or $40, you can get this new mechanism that goes in it, and it turns it into a hundred tooth ratchet. That's just a, that's beautiful right there. Um, to improve something, uh, rather than rather than throw it out and buy a new one, you're improving something. That's, that just makes me so happy.